Jack Brooks here, and today we are taking a look at the new Fall 2018 catalog. And there is over 55 new sets inside this bad boy, so let's take a look at the inside. So in this catalog, you are going to see a lot of overpriced sets in here, and it says two free gifts inside, but they're not free. Um, you have to spend money to buy the thing. Free shipping over orders over $35, and that's good. And let's open this bad boy up. And so we're off with that start with the new James Bond Austin Martin DB5, which I completely roasted in one of my videos. I mean, I mean, I like all the play features on here though. That's pretty neat. And um, I do like how I can open up. I I can kind of see the interior. I mean, it looks kind of nice, but it's kind of bad because like it it's not made for your skill. <coughs> Hogwarts Castle. And um, yeah, that's really it for this page. Next up, and let's just continue to the next page. I definitely didn't break that, unless you didn't hear about that because I edited it out. Never know with iMovie. Also got the Big Ben, Taj Mahal, which is out of the vault. The Volkswagen Beetle, the London bus. Out of all of these four, if I had to pick one, I'd have to get the Volkswagen Beetle. She almost got back in 2016 when I bought the Disney Castle, but for some reason I just didn't. Um, let's see, we got the detective's office, Parisian restaurant, Brick Bank, and Assembly Square. Have to pick any of those four. I guess I would pick the detective's office. That's pretty neat. I do like that. And um, the downtown diner. I like that. That's probably the best modular. I like that. And But the roller coaster. I want it so bad. But I just have no room to put a set like that. I just have to buy another house. <laughs> and as you can see, there's, this is where, this is right here where my pages got ruined. <clears throat> Maybe I can get it off. Eh, probably not. Um, I was eating spaghetti, I think. But um, there is Ninjago City. Beautiful set and Ninjago City Docks, which are both beautiful sets, but I probably will never get. Like I said, no room. Uh, speaking of sets I'll probably never get is Ninjago, which are finally releasing in um, the United States. While they were releasing UK and everything, but... I just don't have a liking for Ninjago. I mean, I think I like this move here. That's pretty cool. I do like this dragon. I like this mech right here. And I like, excuse me, this Mad Max style vehicle. It's just, it's just, I just never get them. They're so weird to me. Mindstorms. I love Mindstorms. I just don't have it. And Lego Boost, which I think is kind of intriguing. But um, I just want to get Mindstorms because I'm in actually the coding club. I always get accepted into that. But eh. um. Here's all the new Star Wars sets, very overpriced sets. Besides, uh, I guess the X-Wing isn't really... The Anakin Star Starfighter is kind of trash, honestly. I mean, it's it's pretty decent, but like the, I like the, I like that Anakin, but eh. eh. The Cloudlighter Suit Flakes, those are pretty, that's pretty good, for only $30 for 355 pieces. Um, I do like that, let me figure right there. Uh, what, what's his name? I don't even know. Uh, the Tobias Beckett, and also I, I love Emphasis Nest in here too, that's pretty good. And also we got um, the Sandcrawler, very overpriced too, 140 bucks for 1,239 pieces, which I've heard is very small. Whew. Most overpriced set of them all, no I'm just kidding, there's way more overpriced sets. 70 bucks for the new Snoke's throne room, terrible deal, 500 pieces. For $10 more back in 2015, we got that awesome Death Star Final Duel, which is one of my favorite Star Wars sets. You're getting so much more. It's just... Oh yeah, and speaking of disappointing LEGO sets, Imperial Conveyance Transport. Basically the Star Wars train, but it's like... Um... It's not... You, there's not even any tracks to put it on. That's just... It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I'm looking at... I mean, Aminar Productions did a pretty good review on that, so... I do like how that turned out. So it actually looks a little bit better. I mean, it's ninety dollars for six hundred twenty-two pieces, and really, I hate. I just don't like this vehicle. But I love the main figures in here, like that version of Kira. That's awesome. And the Rio, that is such a cool main figure. You take a look. He's got a new arm piece, and I was like background dudes. And also, I forget who this person is. I think it's like Val. Yeah, it's Val. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I own the um, Hostiles Land Speeder. I did review on that. Um, never will get that used to this Kessel Run Land Falcon. That, that set stinks. Um, oh, yeah, the Slave One. I did review on that. Terrible condition, so I might have to redo it. Um, I love this new Y Wing. Snow Speeder's dumb. This new Death Star is dumb. I love the original one's best. 
I don't know why. I mean, they're exactly the same, but I like the figure design one better, even though they, they're like more update versions. Oh, yeah, we're on to Brickheads. Um, I did here, I got Harry Potter and Hedwig. I got Ron Weasley and Double Door. I have Hermione, too. Um, I'm probably, I'm definitely gonna get these Ghostbuster ones. Uh, I probably will get, I mean, I'm gonna get all Brickheads at some point. I mean, I like the di design of the Creeper. This Steve kind of sets me off there. On um, the Little Mermaid one, it's pretty good too. I like that one. I might do like a mini. I might start like doing like minifigure comparisons or something. Uh, Anna and Olaf, trash. Elsa, trash. Darth Vader, that's pretty good. Um, I mean, I never. Really, I hate. I just despise Frozen. God, it's. Oh yeah, Tetnik. Hate Tetnik. Um, it just doesn't intrigue me. I'm just gonna skip over that page. Oh yeah, there's another one. Oh yeah, the Bugai Shiron. It's really weird because like it was revealed like the day like the like the card got revealed, I think. And um 350 bucks for four thousand almost four thousand pieces. Yeah, pretty good deal. Um so I don't care. Oh yeah, now we're on to the good stuff. Harry Potter Fantastic Beast main figures. I actually returned the rest of the main figures today. Oh, that was a hard decision. Oh yeah, Aragog Slayer, did a review on that, I deleted that video, as you probably noticed because I, I want to do a re-review of that so I can actually have like some HD quality. Hogwarts Swamp Pink Willow, I've seen it a couple times, I've actually never, I've seen I saw the Aragog Slayer the most out of all of these. I just can't ever find the Mayfair series or the Hype Great Ball, I just want it so bad. You will one day be in my grass, and I've actually started a Harry Potter shelf right next to me, well, like five feet away from me, but it, it's like pretty bad because it's only got two sets in there well like 10 i guess because i got like my dimensions ones and stuff on there but still um the quidditch match i own this I did a review on that hogwarts express i went so bad <gasps> and i just want that so bad as, as i said yesterday i think um that the city 2019 leaks i want the motor this motorize that that'll be so fun and to get some more tracks and the motor that rides that. Oh yeah, the new case magical creatures. I actually really want this really bad. Just specifically, actually I love the whole design of this, how it can fold up. That's such a cool idea. Get an easy way to get the new Niffler piece along with that new teeny gold scene space print, which is awesome. And um Grindelwald's Escape. I actually saw this when I was going to pick up the Harry Potter mini figures. I'm like, oh my god, I'm probably gonna come back here tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding. And uh, right here we got um the uh, Batman Attack of the Talons. It's a good set. With, I mean, bad set with great mini figures. Supposedly that sells well. I'm pretty sure this one sold pretty well. Um, I actually do like the build of this. I mean, the Batwing's pretty meh, but it looks good at the same time. I love the mini figures in that too. A lot of mini figures in here too. I just never got this mini figure. I, I never got this set. Didn't really think care for it. Um, the App Control Batmobile been selling really bad. I mean, it's so overpriced though. Only 321 pieces for a hundred dollars. Just because you can motorize this. Jeez. I mean, um, I do like this new Batman made for you though. That's pretty good. Um, this video's getting way too long. And also, pretty sure these new Jurassic World sets have been selling pretty good. Besides this Blue's helicopter pursuit. This set's so bad. Because with the biggest of the Jurassic World line, which I should do a review of, like the Interraptor Rampage, which includes all these main figures that are in the set, so there's basically no point in buying this. And there's also the Tyrandon Chase, the uh, Stiggy Molop Breakout. I really just want both of these. I really want this current Carnotaurus Gyrosphere Escape. I really want it, but like the vehicle is pretty bad. And then the Gyrosphere Station is awesome, which never appeared in the movie. But those weird. And I like the Carnotaurus. I love the set. It's this oh so overpriced. It was 600, almost 600 pieces for 80 bucks. The Tyrandon Escape, I think that's been selling pretty well. There we go with Minecraft. Um, more garbage. Never played Minecraft. Think, think the game's dumb. Wow. Oh my God, Jim. You don't like Minecraft? No. Don't fall off a cliff if you don't like my don't like my opinion. I do like the chicken coop though. That's funny. Hopefully I can find that. I'm um, cheap though. What the heck? Two hundred and thirty dollars for one? Really? See, I just love trains. I have some weird fascination with them, and that's so dumb. That's that's terrible. How is that two hundred and thirty dollars? I mean, it's, is it really just that bad? Because like you can operate the trains. Actually, that's pretty cool. You can operate with your phone. And the passenger train. Let's see how much. Oh, are you serious? One hundred and sixty dollars for six hundred. That's it. I'm skipping over this. 
Um, it's capital Skitty. Skitty. City. Hopefully that's not cuss word. Um, probably is. Which I think is actually a pretty good deal for 150 bucks. I do like that. I mean, it's $30 over price, but it's pretty good though. Um, let's see. The People Pack Out... People Pack Outdoor Adventures. That's pretty good. And the High Speed Chase. Why are they still advertising this? It's, it's like almost two years old. Actually, I think it's an easy way to get Chase McCain. That's a pretty good mini figure. Actually, I think I got the Dimensions one for um Christmas last year so yeah um so they just not been advertising like um the new city ones wow that's sad um I don't really care for Lego City like I said but before but actually I think this one's pretty good though the cruising adventures that's pretty good along with the treehouse treasures I like those I like the little pirate ship build oh yeah I mean if you haven't seen my other channel me my ranting on this stupid new Unikey Castle Room promo I mean, I like the exclusive version of Unikitty, but what in the world is that? That is literally the dumbest thing. Just make the Unikitty by itself. That's all you need. Oh yeah, plants from plants. Everybody wants that. I mean, I'm glad to see LEGO doing something new, but I don't care. Oh yeah, I also hate this set too. Friendship box. Oh, I've never actually gotten a LEGO friend set before. I almost got like that ski pod at Toys R Us when I was dying. And I actually really do like this one, how it has like a little monorail. That's really cool. Um, I mean, it's got some giant heart in the middle, which kind of sets me back. I do like this design, though, for 60 bucks with 4 and 7. Oh, never mind. Okay. Okay, now we're getting to the Unikitty stuff. Don't care for these two. Trash. I actually want this one really bad because of that awesome pocket dial, which is my favorite character in the show. Yes, I watch the show. I mean, it's not that bad. It's, it's pretty mediocre, but still. Um, I do like the Unikitty, Unikingdom Fairground Fun. Okay, I just completely risked that. And if you haven't seen my review of the Joker Manor, which uh, you should watch, um, it uses the same track pieces, so you really don't have to buy that set if you don't want to, which you'd be moronic if you didn't. Um, it also closed Dr. Fox's Laboratory. That's a pretty cool set for 30 bucks. Oh my god, that's really underpriced. That's good. Um, you got the Unit Kingdom Creative Brick Box. Actually, for 40 bucks, it's not really that bad. You could get a lot of printed characters in here. Disney Castle. I actually own this. So I should do a quick review of that. It's going to be really good. Probably going to be like another 10 minute long video. Uh -uh. Um, we got the Rapunzel's Traveling Caravan. Actually, I like the hair piece in there. And the Rapunzel's Castle Dungeon. Never like collecting like mini doll size sets, so. I mean, I probably will get that one Lego Movie 2 set. That includes uh, Sweet Mayhem, but eh. I mean, I finally get to see what, how a mini doll connects. And, um, Great Wall of China. That's a pretty good architecture set. I think I have the, uh, Empire, Empire State Building and the, uh, what's, what's it called? The Washington Monument. I oh, know, Lincoln Memorial. Lincoln Memorial. And there's also Statue of Liberty. Pretty, pretty good set. Uh, don't really care for the next to next shield as a case that's pretty bad. Ship from the bottle, never got, but it's so cool though. Almost a thousand pieces for 70 bucks. It's probably because it has no mini figures. Uh, Tron Legacy, it's pretty overpriced. It's like $15. But shout out to Brick Bros UK. They're pretty amazing. They made this model. Shout out to them. And uh, on the back, we just got Voltron. It kind of reminds me of Optimus Prime in all honesty. <sighs> Come on, Lego. You need the Transformers license. And that is it, and I really guys hope you enjoyed this little, um, me looking at this catalog. And, yep, that's it for this video. Make sure to like it, make sure to subscribe for more videos by me, Jack Bricks. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.